Hey, what's up, guys? Jan Pace 3D here, and welcome back to another very exciting After Effect Element 3D tutorial. So, what we are going to create today, I already posted on my Instagram page some different Z art renders. There are three renders, so you can see here is our destroyed tunnel. Let's preview this one by one, so you can see some random destroyed model and here you can see a custom building z art custom building and here you can see a z art maybe flower or something looking cool so in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create these types of work so i'll use some basic things uh, so let's jump on after effects but first so here is my youtube page here you can see a lot of tutorials tips tricks experiment also breakdown and project files so you can check my all this work and please subscribe like comment if you have any problem or like if you like my stuff so let's jump on the tutorial and let's see how we can get this effect inside element 3d and after effect so here is after effect and here is our z art building so you can see here is a destroyed tunnel so this all are good and here is one more inside so let's create a new comp I call this first 1920 by 1080 maybe 1000 1000 and here change the name Z custom art so I'll just show you a basic method how I created and you will definitely find a idea so create element 3d solid and i use the fx console you can download it from videocopal.net it's 100% free element 3d scene setup and now i use motion design two models for all the things so you can use your own model but in this case i'm going to use motion design two models so i use beam okay fine so we don't don't need to texture because we will we will just use z depth so we don't need any texture uh, but you can play with textures maybe you will find a different and better result but in this case i am going with this one and if you scroll down this so you will find a optimized mesh option so just check it because we will do will put maybe more models so this will good for us and just press add and drag it over here maybe here fine just press e and rotate it with shift 90 degree angle oh, oh control z alt shift and rotate it so it will copy and rotate 90 degree angle so we we'll just position it here fine go to second one here and here and just drag it one more here so this will look cool fine we don't need anything more so our tunnel is ready but it is not looking like this so let's see how we can create this type okay so hit okay fine create a new camera i use 35 millimeter hit okay create a new null object make sure it is a 3d 
effort for this and link camera to the null object press P so we'll play with position rotation everything so in this case just need position fine now we'll go to the custom view and go to element 3d layer group 1 particle replicator and here I will choose 3d grid so it will generate three model in X three model in Y and three model in G but in this case we will we just need in Z will just need G position sorry G model so we'll just decrease and here we'll see fine so we'll just increase the amount of models so we'll maybe 15 maybe 25 fine it will enough for this so just scale until you will find a good so now you can see here so we'll just match this maybe six zero five maybe six hundred go to the active view active camera and maybe five 95 okay so here is our final channel but let's move on next step and talk about how we can create so now just uh, animate the position so zero okay so minus twelve hundred <clears throat> so we'll go to very beginning of our tunnel okay fine so we'll start here doesn't matter Okay, so we'll start here. Fine. Create a keyframe and go back to maybe six second or eight second, and here we'll put zero. Or you can go higher value, but in this case I will go with zero. Press N. Trim come to work area. Okay. So let's preview this. okay so good move on next step go to element 3d and just switch composes to the depth no ambient occlusion fine so you got something cool okay so now go to group 1 and here we'll play with particle look multi object hit enable and now play with scatter displays all the things so random rotation this will not good so we'll just display oh, oh. so displays x y and z so let's wow this is looking cool boom but now 
this will not good for me and for this tutorial so we'll just scatter this x so we'll maybe find a little bit cool result and if this will not work we'll also go to the particle replicator and here you can also scatter this so it scan every single model and but this particle look scatter display scatter every single part so let's see if we got a cool result maybe control z so here displays xyz just play with until you will find your good result so this is a little bit like destroyed tunnel and let's see so probably you just need to play with g scatter a little bit x and a little bit y so fine i think this is looking cool our tunnel is almost ready fine so go to element 3d layer and here we'll create a tint effect so we will just color this any color so maybe some, we'll choose the, some bright color like this one and you can also animate colors depend on your choice so i'm go with this so now you can see some destroyed tunnel looking good create a new adjustment layer and here will also put tint effect and a curves effect here you can find curves so in tint effect we will just put the same color but in black we will just blue and here we will just increase or decrease the so this is looking cool and you can just change it depend on your choice hello is also looking good red is also looking good but this is good for me so i'm going with this look and when you going to final render we just use the motion blur and so fine you can see some random destroyed channel so it it is looking good maybe so this is a basic concept or basic idea how i created all the things so you can see all these things are looking good you can use more models more different models and create some more random arts so it is just a z random art tutorial so i think this is okay so Let's create a solid for slide or slide and here we will fine so this is looking 
much nicer okay so if we if you want to create these types of work i mean these types of results so let's see how i created so go in scene setup and here i use motion design model maybe i think which one components yeah i think this one so i created a single after that i just symmetry maybe uh, yeah i symmetry so if we so here i created a single model with this model motion design two model after i just symmetry this like this and just play with some displacement rotation and here a scatter so this will like so this is all about experimenting with element 3d and after effect and you will always find a different and good result so keep working i'm mps 3d and thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am mps 3d and keep watching and believe me uh, our up uh, our upcoming works will be definitely good so Keep watching my video, keep loving me, I am in PSD and keep watching.